And if you ask me, this one has what it takes to be right up there with some of the great triple threat matches of the past, including the classic we saw at WrestleMania 30. Wow, incredible height. Vicious. Many people see the Big Show dominating WWE competition and think everything he's done in sports has taken place in a ring. Big Show actually played NCAA basketball at Wichita State and was one of the most intimidating players on the court. I can't imagine Big Show choke slamming anyone who was called for committing an intentional foul against him. Big show down a bit. This is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match. I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. job escaping trying to turn this thing around. But did he go for it too early? There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. What a face buster! This earlier, Corey, it's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting bashed in the head with the cage door from the outside, it's all legal in the cage. Dropping with a big shoulder tackle. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater... He's in complete control now. He's fighting from underneath. He's fighting from underneath. He's got a split personality, King, and I don't like either one of them. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that. Sure, close line. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Way too early.
Lightning fast reflexes. Starting to struggle. He is a one man gang in there. Oh, oh, it's over. Guys, Big Show, he might be back in this match. Big Show's putting on a nice show for his fans. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see is part of Steel Cage. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. You gotta shake the cobwebs. He isn't showing much life here, guys. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s to the mid-1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall submission or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Oh, what a slam! The power! What dominance! This might be it! Oh, my! Harsh impact. Who knows what's gonna happen? This match could go. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. This is exactly what Edge was waiting for. We've seen it on so many occasions. One, and Cena pops the shoulder up. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Comes up big with the reversal. Show is on a mission to prove that he can still be dominant, saying, quote, this match is important to me for redemption, for validation, to put a reminder out there of who and what I am and what I've done for the industry. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. We've seen some unlikely alliances formed in these type of matches in the past. It'll be interesting to see if we get more of the same here tonight. Oh, he's such a tough target. Big Show has put himself on, Michael. Reminds me of how overlooked Big Show can really be. But I always find it dangerous to ever overlook a 7-foot-tall, 383-pound man. Well, you'd have to be a complete idiot to overlook the Big Show. I mean, this behemoth walks into any room, any arena, any ring, and commands respect. It'd be ill-advised of you to give him anything less. Stopping him now. I will never forget Survivor Series 1999, where the Big Show replaced Stone Cold Steve Austin. You don't think they're not gonna? No way, Cole. Big Show setting up. Starting to struggle. Byron, I remember that Survivor Series match like it was yesterday. I was there backstage, and the Big Show was a man possessed that night. And never underestimate the element of surprise, gentlemen, especially when that surprise is a seven-foot giant with a hunger for the WWE Championship. whether you like it or not. There's the match right there. Here is your winner, John Cena. That's an impressive win here under triple threat rules. 
Michael, this was just a matter of one competitor being that much better than the other two on this given night. And folks, I am happy to report that this triple threat match we just saw is now changed.